we are on the uh, internet with the questions that the people wrote in. Uh, Lawrence Wilkerson, does the Trump administration plan to bypass Congress to sell arms to Saudi Arabia concern you? Very much. I'll bet. <laughs> and if the Congress really has the courage, political and moral, it will pass a separate piece of legislation and just disregard the Export Control Act, which would take too long anyway, and shut him down. Can they? Yes. Okay. John Waters as the Pope of Trash, is that a nickname? Well, that's been called worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you confirm that Trump is the trashiest president of all time? Oh, yes, he's a... Well, I think on. he's the worst. I think, you know, I've he looks like a white James Brown impersonator now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, besides from there, but also the yeah. decor. I mean, it looks like Saddam Hussein's palace. Oh, his house. It, well, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. Jeff Koons decorated without art history or irony or any yeah. knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Governor Bill Weld, in the event that you don't get the Republican nomination, will you back the Democratic nominee for president in 2020? I'm not sure what I'd do. You know, there may be Justin Amash hanging out there on the Libertarian ticket. Uh, hard to say. Really? Would not, would not support Mr. Trump under any circumstances. I love the United States too much. Oh. Wait. So, you wouldn't support Trump, but you would, might support a third party candidate or the Democrat, depending on who it was? Anyone but Trump. You wouldn't do that bullshit right in Mickey Mouse thing, would you? No, 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 no. Uh, I wouldn't Gray. go back to Libertarian. No. All right. Alfred E. Newman. Well, you people, <laughs> people do that. I think it's just... No, but a... Alfred E. Newman, remember, he did run for president in the old days for Mad He's Magazine. He's not a real person. I know, but remember, they, <laughs> Trump called uh, Mayor Pete Alfred E. Newman, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you got to be old enough uh, Kirsten, to get what, was the D Democratic National Committee wrong to implement stricter fundraising and polling benchmarks for the third round of debates? Wait, what happened? You don't know I don't yes. well, they, what okay. they did was they, they said two, you need 2% in the polls and 130,000 yeah. unique donors. This is to no, get I mean, in the I debate. This is to narrow. Yeah. This, this is the third debate. The debates yeah. start like in the three weeks, that, right? Yeah, yeah I, they're set for the first one. This is to narrow. They're the, set for the first yeah. debate? No, no, no. The no. numbers, the, the thresholds the numbers. are set. This yeah. is a so, higher standard so they, after they, the first one. You can't have more than 20, right? Is that the thing? There's 23 candidates. Well, but, but I think what they uh, realized, musical chairs. Three of them are not going to get the chair. I think what they realized was that the standards that they set were too easy. And so that's why we have so many people now that are going to be running. And, and so to make it 2% instead of 1% right. is going to maybe but narrow I, the I mean, even ball. 10, we remember this with the Republicans. Yeah. It's, it's very hard to, to make a mark. I, yeah. I don't know how. I guess that's what they'll all do. And that's why it's bad to have so many, because they don't really concentrate. On and they what, destroy each other, they they debating want, these ridiculous And looking for like, ways yeah, to yeah. separate themselves yeah. from the pack, yes. Um, okay, should President Trump's plan to switch to a merit-based immigration system receive more consideration? Well, it would be more like what Canada has. No, I don't think it should. You don't think so? No, think I don't think be because it's not, based? we're not, you can have both. You can have, you can have merit-based like we do if you need, a, you need some engineers, right? You, you'll get some visas for them. But really this country is based on having people come over here not based on having uh, a PhD or, 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 or high level skills. I mean, I don't know what your family did when they came here. My family worked in coal mines. Thanks. You know, and that's what most well. that's what most people's family did. And so I think even when we say merit based, it sort of suggests that someone who only has a you know doesn't have a, a high education doesn't have merit, right? And what's merit? Right. And, yeah. the idea that and merit yeah. is merit. You know, I think that we need people who are you know who are unskilled laborers. We need them just as much as we need people who are engineers. So I would dissent on that. I, I think the latest uh, proposal is worth some fleshing out. Yeah, it's it's more normal Republican, the one that was ignored two weeks ago that he put forth. I hate to be called a normal Republican these days. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm talking about Trump, his proposal. Yeah, but, but, oh, oh, yeah, yeah no, it, it was, sounded almost normal. I, mean, compared I couldn't to, believe like, it. Today he was like, I'm going to stop immigration with tariffs. That's crazy, Trump. That's crazy, mm -hmm. right. But, like, I can understand how that side looks at what happened two weeks ago and went, oh, you know what, if you're not going to, like, even 
engage on the semi-normal proposal. Let's just go back to crazy. Yeah, but, it, but it's, it's more of his trying to keep people from the so-called shithole countries out. I mean, yeah. I, I think in, you're almost giving him too much credit. You know, it's, it's the idea that, like, he... Well, his motivation is to keep people out who he thinks ha are... Have you noticed rats, recently there have been a lot of know? people taking out ads, let's pray for the president, even Nancy Pelosi there's said, a, let's pray for the president. There's a whole day of it yeah. coming up. Yeah, that's because they're afraid he's losing it. Well, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they are. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, finally, what do you think about Elizabeth Warren's proposal to change Justice Department policy on whether a sitting president can be indicted? Yes. Always Elizabeth Warren, who actually comes up with the actual know, nuts and bolts. She's never said a funny thing in her life. Who cares? Yeah, she's, I, she's I know, running for but clown. she's a real laugh riot. Right. So what? <laughs> I don't know. Is that what you I think want you to, need that... a little humor. No, I don't no, want no. somebody coming out no, every day. I, and yeah. I agree, because yeah. I made a joke and she didn't like it. I think I, she's, she's so she's, I know. NF, not funny. I, I, yeah. She's not funny. You don't have to be funny, but it is. It is important to have a sense of humor. Which no, we don't, she doesn't have one. I, I, but you know what? That's not a reason to no, go to not. hell. No, but, of course. Know, I, Phil, I, but, I think this is a very serious issue. Yeah. I, th I think the founders were smart when they put a little ambiguity in the Constitution. A lot more than a little, but right. it, it lets mo modern, modern people amend things a little bit. But one of the things in the Constitution in Section 4 of Article 2 that deals with impeachment and the words that are around it says you shouldn't let lower politics be used to remove a sitting president. I think that's sound advice. The kind of politics you have to use to remove a sitting president is the Senate, the Supreme Court, the House, and impeachment. And that's the way it should be done. Now, after... COG, continuation of a government, deliberations, and 9-11, and our thought that maybe we'd lose a third of the government in one terrorist attack, we designed some other ways to deal with it, but that's in extremist conditions. I think the Constitution is pretty sound. The president should be removed from office by impeachment, and we ought to have some congressmen with some balls. All right. We can all agree on balls. Thank you, everybody.